Thank you, Tom. New at six, some DeKalb County commissioners want to limit cash payouts to employees who are fired or resign. This after a Channel 2 investigation reveals yet another payout commissioners didn't know about. Records obtained by Channel 2 and the Atlanta Journal-Constitution show how one employee got thousands extra after she left on top of thousands of uh, tens of thousands in severance. Channel 2's investigative reporter Jody Fleischer is live at the DeKalb County Government Building. Jody? Jovita, the commissioners I spoke with today told me they had no idea about that extra $4,000 cash payout to the CEO's former communications director. There was already controversy about her severance package. Now we've obtained this memo which shows that that extra cash was from an old car allowance. Many say she shouldn't have gotten. This is gasoline on a fire. Angry taxpayers were already fed up with DeKalb County's $46,000 severance agreement for former communications director Sheila Edwards. She resigned July 30th, but a month later, the county gave her an extra $4,000 for a car allowance she never received in 2009. And I think that there's a frustration among the commission that these are the kind of things that keep being brought to us that we don't have control over. Records show Edwards started receiving the $500 a month car allowance payments in late 2009 with a lump sum for September through December. There was no mention of any months before that until this memo in August 2010. Especially if you're no longer here, you're no longer providing a service to the DeKalb County government. Uh, should you be receiving funds beyond that? I don't think so. Some commissioners now want to set policy for severance packages and the car allowances, which 27 county officials currently receive. The same chief operating officer who authorized the Edwards payment was fired last month for an unrelated matter. He walked away with a hundred thousand dollars. Do you feel like he's giving away money that he shouldn't be giving away? Uh, well, I wouldn't be giving away the money, but clearly I'm not the CEO. A spokesman told us CEO Burl Ellis wasn't available, but that he admits the Edwards negotiation could have been handled better and the car payout wouldn't happen again. We're not perfect. We can always make improvements, and that's what we'll strive to do. With more than $100 million in budget cuts this year and no raises for police or firefighters, taxpayers question it all. We need to cut this type of activity out. And the county says Edwards was entitled to receive the car allowance for her eight, first eight months on the job. But we asked for all of the records and we found no record of her asking for it or of anyone even discussing this matter until after she had already resigned. Edwards did not return our phone calls. Reporting live in DeKalb County, Jody Fleischer, Channel 2 Action News.